chatterbait. I couldn't bring my bait cast here because it's way too long. It's gonna too easy, but here it is. Here in Florida. Got that gator snake over there. I'll cut through that. And uh, this is the real deal. It's pretty windy out. Got my white chatterbait. first cast after looking so hard to find a single pond. freaking big it's like a decent lake oh my goodness there's no fish we're gonna catch a fish if we catch a fish i'm gonna stay for like five more minutes and then we're dipping because all i wanted to do is catch one fish i haven't caught a single fish for months ever since i went ice fishing so this is it this is the moment we've all been waiting for this is where i catch a massive florida bass Oh, look at this. It's perfect. It's so pretty. I'm calling it this has fish. It definitely does. How could it not? Oh my god, it's so deep. Right next to shore. Oh, we got a follow. We got like two follows. Oh my god, guys. We're catching a fish. We're catching a freaking fish. One. Alright, so I saw a baby bass. And then I saw some guys like lizard bait on the ground so I think there's bass in here <laughs> just a wild guess oh my god guys he came out of oh my god Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guys, guys, we caught a fish, we caught a fucking fish, we caught a fucking fish. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he came out of nowhere. Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, guys, we caught a fish. <laughs> He's not big, but yes, yes, yes. Right down there, it's like a five foot hole right there, it's crazy. Guys. First Florida bass right here. Pound and a half at the most, but it doesn't matter to me. There he goes. Oh my. And just like that, we got on our first Florida bass. Oh my God. All right, there's people watching me. I'm gonna keep fishing. See how, how much longer we can get away with it. Guys, I don't even know what to say. First Florida bass. That was my first bass in like, since last year, actually. I don't think I've ever caught a bass for 2020. So that's my first 2020 bass. Let's go. All right, let's keep going. This is for real, like, last resort. We can't come back after this. This is the last time I'll probably ever be here. So, let's make it count. That's the cast right there. Ooh, bug a bite.
Oh my, no, no, no. Oh my God, that was a fish. That was a bass. That was 100% a bass. Where'd he go? Oh my God. Oh, holy crap. Hook came out too. Didn't stick him. Didn't stick him, I freaked out. Barely felt that bite. Good one. Yep. Oh no, he's stuck. No, I lost him. He was stuck. Got stuck in the log, bro. Let's go, let's go. No! What? What? Broke completely off. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like I really have no idea. But we tied a perfect Palomar knot. We have 12 pound mono on. This is gonna happen. We're gonna catch a fish. It definitely shouldn't be this hard. I mean, I know this pond is pressured, but so far we've gotten three fish to bite. Three different fish have not been able to land any. We need to make this happen. We're gonna go to that exact same spot. Fish it exactly the same. That was a little one, but it doesn't matter. We didn't get anything in the boat. See, like, how do we catch a twig with a Texas rig? In, skim them in, let's go. Let's go. We got a bass. We got a freaking bass. We are one for four for the day, but it does not matter because we got him. Oh, yeah, he was pinned. Let's go, guys. Look at this bass. That's literally a one pounder, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter because today we got on our third Florida bass. Literally got a flight in a couple hours, but I'm out here fishing because. I wanted to give you guys a little more than one bass to show, so here we go. Whew. We have worked so hard for this bass. Let's let him let him go, nice and quick. We're gonna have to chuck him, but once again, guys, Florida bass, be free. I don't know if he likes swam away, but <laughs> all right. Fish. all right guys if you're still watching this video thank you so much really appreciate it but yeah so basically that was my whole experience in florida um i figured i would just update you guys and uh show you guys my catches i know i didn't get the numbers or the really the size but um i had limited time there um and while i was there i was really just trying to figure out what ponds were nearby that had fish in them um if they had big fish and some of the times I was I had to be dropped off and then a couple other times I did get the family rental car so it was a little bit of a process trying to find fish and locate them be able to catch them but we did get on a couple um, it was really fun and I do plan on going back there sometime soon but yeah as I was saying I just want to give you guys an update it's been like a month or two I like to post a lot but it has been kind of tough here in New York but yeah man Florida was amazing um, I did end up going pier fishing up in Pensacola which if you don't know is in north northwestern Florida uh, fish off the pier i can show you a little bit of footage there i saw a pelican it was pretty cool and um yeah so that was pretty much 
all the fishing I was able to do. I brought two rods. I couldn't bring like a super heavy rod, which is why I lost those fish in the end. But we don't want to make excuses. But uh, yeah, as far as what I plan on doing in the future, in the coming weeks, actually this Wednesday, April 1st, is the opening season for trout fishing in April. So that should be amazing. I got my waders. Um, I actually got this GoPro, which is another whole topic. There's, it's not in there. It's in my car, but... So I got my waders, got my GoPro. I'm set, guys. Um, we're gonna be doing some amazing trout fishing April 1st. Just checked out the creeks. They're a little bit, a little bit higher than they should be, a little muddier, but I think we're gonna get on some pretty good fish. Um, so that'll be coming in the probably within a week. You'll see that video. And um, yeah, about the GoPro. So I just got a GoPro. So basically, this video, what you just saw is like this is almost ceremonious because. This is the last video you're gonna see of me filming with an iPhone from the chesty. So gonna be a lot better view. It's gonna be way better content. I'll have two angles. Basically the videos that are gonna come are gonna be a lot better. So that's something to look forward to. Trout fishing, smallmouth fishing, and uh, yeah. So once again, I appreciate that you stayed through this far to watch my video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.